birds, really. You want us to believe that these radar blooms that we're seeing are from birds. Let me get that straight because what I'm seeing is microwave radiation. What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? Thursday, September 25th, 2025. What's really lighting up the radar? For weeks now, meteorologists across the country have been pointing to the radar and telling the public a story that doesn't add up. Night after night, they claim massive radar blooms, spokes, and sweeping patterns on the radar are bird migration sometimes quoting numbers as high as 300 million to 800 million birds moving across the skies in a single night. But when I look closer, not just at the radar, but at the actual world around me, none of this makes sense. What I'm seeing is not wildlife, it's electromagnetic radiation, high frequency microwave beams and atmospheric interference lighting up the radar and it's time we stop pretending otherwise. If you watch these radar returns frame by frame, the story becomes obvious. Radar signatures that meteorologists label as bird migration often appear as perfect circular blooms radiating outward from a single site. Synchronized patterns that turn on and off simultaneously across multiple radar sites. Blankets of electromagnetic radiation covering entire regions in the middle of the night. Birds don't appear like that. They don't flip on and off in perfect synchronization. They don't form razor sharp geometric wedges and they certainly do not fill an entire state's worth of sky in less than one minute. What they're probably showing you are signs of microwave interference, high power transmission and atmospheric scattering, not biological movement. The geometry the timing and the behavior of these returns all point to one thing, electromagnetic activity. Here is the contradiction no one seems willing to talk about. Across North America, songbird and migratory bird populations have declined by 33 to 54 percent depending on what species we are talking about and this has taken place over the last few decades. Entire species are disappearing from the ecosystems that they once dominated and yet meteorologists still insist that hundreds of millions of birds are filling the skies every single night. You can't have both. You can't have a massive population collapse and simultaneously claim record-breaking migration numbers every single night. The math and the biology simply do not work. Now I can remember when I was young what bird migration looks like. I grew up watching it. As a kid, the skies over the Mississippi Flyway used to be alive with movement. Waves of geese, cranes, warblers, and swallows that would darken the horizon and fill the air with sound. It was one of nature's great annual events, a reminder of the deep rhythms that connect all life on Earth. But those skies are gone. The great flocks no longer pass overhead. The wetlands and river banks that were once stopways for millions of birds now sit eerily quiet. And while meteorologists talk about 800 million birds on radar, the skies above my head and probably yours, and they are emptier than they've ever been. So I want to ask you directly, what do you see where you live? Are you witnessing massive migration flocks in the skies above? Or are you like me, noticing the absence? And it's not just the birds. Think back to the long road trips years ago. Remember having to clean layers of dead insects from your windshield at every gas stop? That bug splatter was a messy inconvenience, but it was also a sign of a thriving ecosystem. And today, it's mostly gone. The insect populations that once sustained entire food chains including those of migratory birds, have collapsed. This isn't a minor change, it's a foundational ecological shift, and yet the official story still insists that the night skies are teeming with life. Again, reality and radar do not line up. Here's what most people don't realize. 
This electromagnetic activity isn't separate from weather modification, it is a central part of it. Cloud seeding is often described simply as spraying particles into the atmosphere to make rain, but the spray itself is typically metallic. Once those particles are aloft, high power microwave beams and radio frequency pulses are used to excite, charge and manipulate the atmospheric aerosols we see being sprayed above our heads. Those charged particles become far more effective condensation nuclei, forming clouds faster and more reliably. They can change the phase states from gas to liquid or plasma, triggering or suppressing precipitation. They can generate micro temperature gradients that steer how clouds merge or dissipate. They can create conductive pathways that plug aerosol layers directly into the global electric circuit, giving operators the ability to nudge entire weather systems. In short, electromagnetic energy turns a passive aerosol trail above our heads into an active steerable system. The radar anomalies we see are not random interference, they are fingerprints of a much larger process. If the skies are supposedly filled with hundreds of millions of birds, why aren't we seeing them with our own eyes? Why aren't we scraping them off our windshields or watching them darken the skies as they once did? And if the radar returns that look nothing like birds are being called migration, what else is being misrepresented? It's time we stop taking these explanations at face value. The evidence in the radar data, in the collapsing ecosystems, and our own lived experience tells a different story. What we're really seeing is a planet increasingly saturated with electromagnetic radiation, microwave pollution, and engineered aerosols, not flocks of birds filling the night sky. All right, guys, a huge shout out to Denise B. And don't worry, I won't give up. VK Arm Arm, Richard and Mary, Nancy Sweetster, Katie Fisher, Russell, Rhonda Dasher, Stephen Kirtley, Jackie Jones, Lori J, Georgia Folly, Lois Holand, Crystal Wiederholt, The Watchman, Storm Patterson, Sylvia Dunn, Brandon Drake. I thank all of you for your support. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.